Hello, welcome to Godly Play. Come, join the circle. There's lots of room. I wonder who you brought with you today. Maybe someone in your family? Or maybe you're holding something that's precious to you. Come and join us. Take a minute, get yourself settled. Let's have a look at our calendar. And you remember that the church tells time in a circle. And we've just come from the mystery of Christmas through Epiphany. And we're moving the hand in the green and growing time to the third Sunday after Epiphany, third, third Sunday of Epiphany. And you can see that we're moving towards a color change coming up. I wonder what that could be. And to start, I'll bring the Christ candle in. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And as they followed, they wondered who he was. And they couldn't help themselves, they had to ask him. And one of the times when they asked him who he was, he said, I am the light. Let's enjoy the light. I see the love of God in you, the light of Christ comes shining through, and I am blessed to be with you, O holy child of God. This light didn't stay in that one place in that one time. He changed the light, so it could be with us in all times and in all places. Watch as I change the light. And now wherever we go in this godly place circle, this light will be with us. And when we leave the circle, the light will go with us then too. So are you ready for a story? <laughs> this box is gold and gold is very precious. And parables are precious too, so I, I wonder if there could be a parable inside. Hmm. The box is very old looking too, and parables are old. It's a bit like a present. And parables are a present. They were given to us long ago, before we were even born. And they belong to us, even if we don't know what a parable is. And this parable has a lid. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get inside a parable. But don't worry, just keep coming back. And one day the parable will open for you. So you want to see if there's a parable inside? I wonder. Let's open and see. Hmm. What this could be. It's brown. It's very brown. It's kind of rough brown, too. Huh, it's long. Very long. Huh, I wonder what it could be. I wonder if there's anything else in here to help us get ready for the story. Hmm. No, there are things inside, but they're to help us tell the story. Nothing else to help us get ready, so I guess we'll just begin. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, they heard him talk about a kingdom. And it wasn't like the kingdom they lived in. It wasn't like a kingdom they'd ever visited. It wasn't even like any kingdom they'd ever heard of. And they couldn't help themselves. They just had to ask him. And one of the times when they asked him, what is the kingdom of heaven like, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like when a sower, a person who, who scatters seeds, goes out and spreads the seeds and scatters and sows. <laughs> a 
and the birds of the air come. And they eat the seed from the path. And as it's scattered in the air, <laughs> just so many of them come. There, there's lots more. That'll be enough for now. And the sower sowed the seed in the rocky ground. And the little seeds tried to push their way into the earth, but the rocks were so hard, they couldn't get their roots through, and so they died. And the sower sowed seed among the thorns. And the little seeds pushed into the earth and they could get their roots a little bit into the ground, but then the thorns choked them and they died. And the sower sowed seed on the good earth. And the seeds went down deep into the earth so that then the planet could come up and flourish. And when it was time for the harvest, The harvest was 150 and 30 times the seed. <laughs> I wonder if the sower has a name. I wonder who the sower could really be. <laughs> I wonder if the birds were happy to see the sower. I wonder if the birds have names. I wonder what the sower was doing when the seed fell on the rocky ground and on the thorny ground. and on the good brown earth. I wonder what the harvest was. I wonder if it was like this. Maybe it's like this. 30, 60 and 100. Or what if it was like this? I wonder. I wonder how much of the harvest the sower kept for seed. I wonder how much the sower used for food. I wonder how much the sower sold. <laughs> I wonder if there was anything about the harvest that surprised the sower.
I wonder if there's anything at all in this whole story that surprised the sower. Or surprised you. The parable of the sower. So here's the harvest. 30, 60, and 100 fold. Here's the good earth. The rocky earth. And the thorny earth. Here the birds. These are the birds. And this is the sower. And this is the place for the parable. Well, thank you for being in the circle with us today. It's time for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May God walk with you through your week until we meet again. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Bye-bye.